It is one that we use as a benchmark in CrossFit. It is called Mary, and it is a 20-minute AMRAP of five handstand push-ups, 10 pistols, 15 pull-ups, and they're going for the whole 20 minutes. Look out. <laughs> We're underway, 20 rounds plus, almost 21 rounds. The top score that belongs to Matt McLeod, who is your leader after the first heat. We're working for all 20 minutes, five handstand push-ups, 10 pistols, 15 pull-ups, as many as you can do in that 20 minute window. And Matt Fraser and Noah Olson moving to the pull-up bar for the same time on round number one. Wait, are you saying Noah Olson's going out really fast? <laughs> Well, look, Noah Olson has a history in the CrossFit <laughs> Games of making some crucial mistakes at bad times. He hasn't done it yet, but if you can find a way to shake that off. Well, he did his first round sub 40 seconds, so we'll, <laughs> we'll see if that was That's a, a little bold hot strategy, or not. Let's see if it pays it's off a bold for move. Him. You know what? He'll 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 rein it back. I think it, I think that might be a little bit of nerves coming out under yep. the lights again. The first the first time this weekend we're seeing the Coliseum. Noah's fired up. He knows where he's at. Yep. He'll, he'll, he'll rein it in a little bit, I think. And, and to Josh's point, it's like Noah has matured a lot over the years in terms of the way he approaches events like right. this. He has the coaching behind him to kind of set the tone. But every once in a while, you know, the, <laughs> right, the old little kid inside just says, you know what? Fast and unbroken sounds like a great idea. <laughs> hey, everyone knows if you don't win the first round, you don't win. <laughs> yes, that's, that's a well-known fact. Of a 20-minute am. Yeah. And Noah Olson is your leader. He's through two rounds. Matt Fraser just slightly behind him. Plenty of men still on that lead pace, but Olson now uh, back for his third round of handstand push-ups, and he's ahead of Matt Fraser. James Newbury is behind the two of them. That's your battle for the overall lead. I'd say the one person I'm kind of concerned about in this particular event in total is actually Brent Fikowski there on the far left of your screen is that he's sitting in fifth place, 15th place right. overall. We're not sure if they're cutting after this event in particular to 20, but this is not the event you wanted to see when you start inching closer to that cut line with right. Brent Fikowski. And this is one of those cases where we've talked about order of events matters and for a guy who's trying to you know, stay inside that cut line, I don't think this is the event you would want to see. And the point I'm trying to make is like, I'm not saying he's bad at this, but relative to the field Correct. that he's competing against, right. this isn't the event for Brett Fikowski. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna have to, uh, he's gonna have to go hard here. <laughs> Some hopes and prayers. So, so Brett Fikowski has 236 points. The man in 20th is, is Ant Haynes. He's already gone, so Fikowski would have to drop 19 points to Ant Haynes. So this that, that is totally that adds 100% possible. possible in an event like this. So Brent Fikowski needs to maybe find another gear. Meanwhile, James Newberry is fighting with Noah Olson for the lead, and it's Matt Fraser who is in third. So Newberry, who started off a little slower than Olson did, is getting set to wrap up round number four. But now Olson is done with four, and uh, Brent Fikowski. Back in the pack here, it's still earlier in the event. We're only at the three minute, 12 second mark of a 20 minute event. And Noah Olson being done with four rounds in about at about the three minute mark means he's holding about a 45 second pace still. It's a bold strategy. We'll see, we'll see how it plays <laughs> out. Yeah. I think that right now he could be, you know, he's, he's, he's definitely fired up, but he needs to rein that in a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not Noel Olson, but 15 pull-ups at that pace, that's going to start to get really tough and really spicy. Where I think I know Matt, Matt's the kind of guy who knows his pace and he's going to go right. out and he's going to stay in it. He's right. not going to chase the rabbit like some, guy, like some younger guys would. So, If we're going off the scoring hat, there might be some confusion because James Newber, they had him in the lead there for a second. Noah Olson now is back in the lead through five. Scott Panchik has five rounds. Jacob Hefner, Matt Fraser, so still tight at the top. Now it says James Newbery is around behind Olson. The leader's name is always displayed in the blue box at the top of your screen, and then anybody in the red box, the number in their white box is either how many reps or rounds they trail the overall leader by, or if they are tied. And right now, a lot of guys are on round six with Noah Olson as we are through four and a half minutes of this event. So Olson. Middle of your screen, blue shorts and the headband right next to Matt Fraser in the red shorts. Just two points separating them coming into this event.
Will Morad and Pat Vellner. Morad hopping off the pull-up bar. Green and white shorts and the headband. Here comes Pat Vellner. And Vellner in 11th place overall, 252 points. He and Brent Fakowski, two men that we expected to be inside the top 10 here in the overall standings, have yet to kind of find their rhythm here yeah, that's, at the 2019 games. That's very surprising to me, too. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Patrick, or Vellner and Fakowski not being in the top 10 is, is a little shocking, but uh, still a long weekend, hopefully. <laughs> Them. Right. <laughs> the three overall leaders are right in the middle of the floor. It's Matt Fraser in the red shorts. Then on the right in the headband, that is Noah Olson in the on the left is James Newberry. The two of them kicking up for their handstand push-ups. Matt Fraser working his way back to the wall as well. So Noah Olson is through seven rounds. The score to beat belongs to Matt McLeod, who almost got through 20 total rounds. Yes, yeah, six minutes is a fast way to knock out 105 pull-ups on the pull-up bar. <laughs> and when you're looking at the total number of rounds, you're approaching seven. You finish seven, moving into eight at the six-minute mark. I think as you approach the later half of this, you know, as Josh says, this event starts at the 10-minute mark, mm -hmm. and then especially in the last five, is that this is kind of one of those events and workouts that banking some time early isn't a, ba a bad idea as long as you're not pushing the pace. Like going unbroken for seven to eight rounds isn't the worst idea, maybe even to 10, because you have the time in a 20 minute time frame to break up pull-ups when you need them. I think that should be saved more towards the end. Yeah, definitely. I, I would not recommend just going out and breaking them up immediately, especially if that's, like for me, I'm the kind of guy when I actually start to break, it almost starts to like get in my head a little bit. Like why am I breaking already? So I like to go unbroken until I can't anymore. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, I, and some people like to have that plan, though, and stick to their plan. But uh, for me, yeah, I, I agree. I agree completely with you, what you're saying. Well, and I think a lot of that is going to come down to knowing what your pulling stamina is over a volume of pull-ups that size, right? Past seven minutes, and it's Noah Olson on the far right of your screen, and Matt Fraser in the red shorts who have basically been right next to each other, figuratively and literally, in this event. As Noah Olsen has been slightly ahead of Fraser, but Fraser is keeping pace. Both of them are through nine rounds. That's Travis Mayer. Who has had a pretty good day number two. 12th overall after that sprint couplet. Chandler Smith, who's been all over the leaderboard today, finds himself you know, back inside the top 10 after he was inside the top 10, then he was 18th and now he's back. <laughs> <laughs> the consistency for Chandler Smith seems to be the thing that he's got to dial in here, but he has proven that he belongs here. I think you see a lot of that with new yeah. athletes coming in that have a very good skill set. I mean, we saw the same thing from Brent Fikowski when he first came to the games, is that he would win events or he'd get something outside the top 30. Same thing with Brooke Wells when she first started, right? right? She got fifth place at the games and got last twice in yeah. two different events. So someone like Chandler Smith that has a skill set to do very well in some events and maybe not in others, it's either, you know, he might be the Ricky Bobby of the CrossFit games, like a first <laughs> or last type of athlete, but when you get those averages out, I see that a lot with new athletes with a, with a decent skill set coming in. The guy you talked about, Jacob Hepner, has now pulled himself into the battle for the lead as he is on round number 11. Jacob Hepner is in lane number six. He's in the middle of your screen doing the pistols right behind that, that support beam that reads Rogue on it. Now he's working his way to the pull-up bar. So Jacob Hepner, Noah Olson, Scott Pansch, Matt Fraser, Will Morad, they are all on round number 11. Frazier's pull-ups are just so fast. I mean, even compared to Noah Olson's, who are really fast. Olson, Fraser, and Hepner all done at the same time as James Newbury's fallen off the lead pace. Olson is done, Fraser is done. Now right onto the pistols. Olson wasting no time. He's just trying to keep the lead on Matt Fraser. And look, the points are so close that really all Noah Olson has to do is beat Matt Fraser in this event, and he's on top of the overall leaderboard. 
approaching the halfway point of this event. Noah Olsen still leads. He's through 11 rounds. He's on the pull-up bar. Jacob Hepner joins him on the left of your screen. And here comes Matt Fraser. Olsen is done. 12 rounds down. One more look at the event. We're doing this for 20 minutes. Handstand push-ups, single-legged squats, and 15 pull-ups. Noah Olsen still staying slightly ahead of Matt Fraser, who's in the red shorts. And Jacob Hepner, who's a few lanes down from them. Round 13 for Olsen and Fraser. It, the one thing I'm noticing from Noah Olsen is that he's pushing the pace in between the pull-ups, right? He's quick to the rig for the handstand push-ups. He doesn't waste any time on his pistols, where it seems like Matt's using that push-up and pistol as kind of a break between the set of pull-ups. Because as Josh said earlier, it's like it's just a pull-up workout. It's like right. every time you turn around, the pull-up bar's in your face again. Now Noah Olsen to start round number 14 and starting to put a little distance between himself and Matt Fraser. Fraser just getting done with his pull-ups and Noah Olsen is on to the pistols. Well, the other thing I just noticed, too, with Noah Olsen is he's chalking once every, like, two to three rounds, where you can see a lot of these athletes, Matt being one of them, pretty much chalking every time they get to that pull-up bar. Yeah, Noah's doing a great job for transitions right now. Yeah. He's not taking a long time to transition. He's moving, <laughs> as I say that, he takes a knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Josh yeah. Bridges, I'll well, show you. I'll just shut my mouth. <laughs> well, meanwhile, these are the guys who need to worry about keeping themselves off the bubble. Brent Fikowski on the far left of your screen, as I said, came in in 15th place overall. He's 15th place in the heat. Overall in the event, he's in 30th place at the pace that he's in. Mm. That is not going to help his cause. No. Pat Vellner, meanwhile, uh, is 11th overall. So he's a little safer. He's in the middle of the screen with the multicolored shorts now moving up to the pull-up bar. I just jumped up. Uh, he's a little safer, but at some point, you got to start banking some points and getting yourself some insurance from from the cuts that are going to continue until we're down to 10. I think part of it, too, is that you know, you're looking at, we came in with 30 athletes. You're sitting dead last in the event currently. And there's still eight minutes to go. This event ain't going to get easier in the right. next eight minutes. Right. It's going to compound exponentially as you get towards the end of this event. Jacob Hepner, Noah Olson, and Matt Fraser, along with Scott Panchik, once they finish this round, they will then move to the other end of the floor as they will be through 15 rounds. James Newberry, middle of your screen, pink shoes. He has fallen off the lead pace. He came into this event in third place overall. He just three points back of Matt Fraser, one point back of Noah Olson for second. So Olsen's done. He's through 15. He'll get a break as he walks down the floor. Here comes Matt Fraser. And now Jacob Hepner, your top three in this event. And I believe Scott that's Hanchuk Josh Hanchuk right behind Working his him. way down as well. So less than seven minutes to go. Noah Olsen's still in the lead. Matt Fraser taking a swig of water. Olsen is into round 16. Here's the pace Olsen has over Fraser right now. After 15 rounds, he has a 15 second lead on Matt Fraser. All of that work over the last 15 rounds is to get a second around on Matt. That's how close it still is, even though it looks like he's that much far ahead. No Olsen, your leader, he's on the right. Matt Fraser, Jacob Hepner, and Scott Panchik. All four men on round 16, but it's Noah Olsen who is out front, and now Matt Fraser joining him on the pull-up bar. The scary part about that going into the last six minutes is that that's a break on the pull-up bar. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right. You spent the last 16 minutes trying to take it to the competitors. You break one time towards the end, it's all gone. Done. No, it's great. I mean, Noah's been pushing the pace the whole time. This is where, he, if he can hold it, yeah. he can maintain it, that's great. But this is where I think Matt's going to step up, and he, you might see him start to pull away. You might because Matt's just been maintaining. He's, he's not chasing, he's just maintaining his pace. And Olsen is just, he's pushing it. You if can tell it, he's pushing it hard. If anything, Matt's been kind of drafting off of Noah Olsen's pace, right? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Brent Fikowski and, and Pat Vellner, they're on the upper left-hand part of your screen. They are still not through 15. Now Vellner is. 
So Brent Fikowski in a little bit of danger right now. 15th overall coming into the event. Falls out of the top 20, he may not be moving on. We don't know when the next cut is going to be made, but if you're inside the top 20, you are going to be safe for now. Noah Olsen, still your leader. Less than right five up. minutes but to go. Here comes Matt Fraser. So Fraser now starting to cut into that lead. Noah Olsen has never won an event at the CrossFit Games, and right now he is just two points back of Matt Fraser for the overall lead. I think this is when you start hearing the sounds of the T-Rex footsteps coming in behind <laughs> you out of the jungle. Definitely. Olsen is staring down Matt Fraser right now, and he's not blinking. He still leads. Less than five minutes to go, approaching the 16-minute mark of this 20-minute yes. event. And let's go back to your point, Josh Bridges. He really is keeping his transitions tight. I think, uh, you know, we saw him just hop right back up on that bar. Yeah, straight from the pull-up bar, straight to the wall, straight right. to the pistol. Right. I mean, he took that knee that one time, and that was it. <laughs> and that was just to show <laughs> you. <laughs> that was just to be like, hey, dude, it's just light. <laughs> Noah Olsen now back onto the pistols as he's opened up a little more of a lead than he had on the last round. He's in round at number 19, the best score 20 plus rounds from Matt McLeod in the last heat. And Matt Fraser right next to Noah Olson, breathing down his neck, but Olson continues to crank away. And now he's back to the pull up bar and has yet to surrender the lead to Matt Fraser. Jacob Heppner on the left of your screen, he sits in third place. Here comes Matt Fraser to join Noah Olson on the pull up bar. Still has 11 seconds on Matt Fraser currently. 19 rounds and counting for Noah Olson. We could be witnessing his very first event win. 20 plus rounds from Matt McLeod. First heat of this event, that was the mark that he put up. Noah Olson right now in his 20th round. He is on the pistols. He is in the middle of your screen with the headband on. Matt Fraser, the overall leader, chalking up his hands while doing pistols. He will move to the pull-up bar next. Noah Olson going to the chalk. 20th round of pull-ups for Noah Olson. Meanwhile, Brent Fakowski has yet to get through 15 rounds. And Brent Fakowski might be falling out of the top 20 right now. Noah Olson's through 20. Matt Fraser is through 20. Olson now onto the pistols in round 21. Two minutes to go. Olson in first, Here's Fraser that. is in second, and it's Jacob Hepner in third. The Just crowd like, trying to will Noah Olson through this round. If he gets through it, he'll be your event leader. Then it's a question of trying to hold off Matt Fraser. 21st set of pull-ups oh, for oh, Olson, and he's going to break. And here comes Matt Fraser. This could be it. There it is. And Matt, hold on. 21 rounds for Noah Olson. A minute 20 to go. Can he hold off Matt Fraser? Move. Listen to the crowd get behind Noah Olson. Back to the pistols, round 22. Who can hang on the pole bar? Here it is, yep. right here. Yep. One minute left. Olson, back to the pole bar. 20 second set of pull ups. He's ahead of Matt Fraser. 40 seconds to go. A break for Olsen. Fraser continues to work. Olsen done with 22 rounds. 30 to go. Wow. Back to the push ups. Here comes Fraser. Olsen in round 23, continuing to work. Inside 20 seconds, trying to hold off Matt Fraser. Seconds. 10 seconds. 
seconds for Noah Olsen. Look at the pace of Matt's pistols right now. Oh Frazier emptying the tank. Goodness. Here comes Olsen to the pull-up bar. Two seconds. Better late than never for Noah Olsen. Oh. First of that win. <laughs> and he will be your overall leader. <laughs> Who would think a 20 minute AMRAP of handstand push-ups, <laughs> pistols, and pull-ups would be such a tight race? Right. The energy in this room right now for your first CrossFit Games event win. What is going through your mind right now? Holy moly. I see so many people in the crowd that I love so much. I love all of you guys. This feels amazing. There were so many great athletes on your left and right pushing you. You guys were neck and neck for the entire time. How does that shape how you decided to approach this? I definitely gamed that. I knew that there were some studs. I'm actually pretty uh, good at staying in my own zone though, so I was vaguely aware, but that wasn't my main goal. So I did me, I've been doing my, me all weekend. I was walking back with my good friend Chandler after the last event, I said, man, I really want an event win. He said, hey, you're knocking on the door. And I think I just busted that door down. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Noah Olson, you think back seven years ago when he was a volunteer at the Southeast Regional and told Dave Castro, hey, you know what, one day I'm gonna be competing at the CrossFit Games and Castro in typical Dave fashion said, yeah, whatever kid, go do your job. <laughs> Here he is, first event win, in a pressure-packed situation, and he will be the overall leader now after five events, but he is clearly not out of the woods.